The Mark 65 from Board Source is a keyboard that supports a split backspace, a split left shift, and a split spacebar on top of the regular 65% layout. But how easily can you switch from one to another, and what is even the point of splitting all those keys? The Mark 65 I have is a full polycarbonate body with an FR4 plate. The bottom in all variations are polycarbonate with a choice of 0 or 5 degree feet. The reason for this is the PCB that has RGB underglow, which is well diffused from the frosted satin coat of the polycarb body. On closer inspection, there are spur marks visible, but it isn't even noticeable when in normal typing position. Who types in the keyboard while looking that close anyway? The PCB itself is fairly standard, however the standout feature is the multiple layout capabilities. On top of being hot swap, this is quite the feat for a hot swap keyboard, as you have to account for the hot swap sockets taking up more space behind the PCB. BoardSource has done this by smartly turning the sockets, allowing space for multiple layouts. And I would appreciate if you can turn the like button blue and add the D to the end of the subscribe button. However, to change the longer keys that require stabilizers into split keys, you'll have to completely disassemble the keyboard, which can be an issue for some. Another possible issue is if you forget to buy the correct set of stabilizers, depending on what layout you are using. I was able to get away using the standard stabilizer set since I have settled with the split left shift and split spacebar, leaving me with the spacebar stabilizer as an extra. Other than the split keys, the Mark 65 also supports either three or two keys to the right of the spacebar. What's really the point of splitting these larger keys? Well, in the keyboard enthusiast community, other than the sound and typing feel, sound test later in the video, there are a lot of people who like to type as fast as possible, making my average of 75 words per minute feel absolutely pedestrian. So how does having more keys make typing much faster? While it would take some time to get used to, moving hard to reach keys to easy accessible locations and closer to the typist's home row is where some time can be saved. For example, when reaching for the backspace, normally you would have to leave the home row to press backspace. With the split spacebar, you can instead have the right space as a backspace and the other as a regular spacebar, or vice versa. And in combination with a word delete shortcut, shift and backspace to delete entire misspelled words, it reduces the action to a single motion from a single hand. And I'm sure there are much more shortcuts out there. But do any of that help in something like gaming? Actually, it can. If you've seen some of those fight sticks in the arcade, this can also simulate that to a degree with the split spacebar, allowing you to use both sides of the split spacebar as a different thumb key, instead of some ridiculously large key that gets in the way and has the same function. And in FPS games, allows distinct thumb access to an extra button. This can either be used to swap to the F row in games to access emotes or relocate harder to find buttons like the H key for secondary abilities in games like Apex or even M for map. Personally, I have it in the middle key to swap to the function row. But if you aren't looking for the Mark 65 for its layout capabilities, here's the sound test. Being gasket mounted, there is some cushioning to the keyboard making it feel softer when typing and as a typist that uses an above moderate force, it is appreciated. But a bit lost as I tend to use heavier switches and a desk mat to cushion it. If the link switches in the Mark 65 are too loud, check out this video here to reduce or remove the amount of noise a mechanical keyboard makes. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe for more tech reviews, and have a nice one.